Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing some of my go-to dry skin remedies that have helped me so, so, so much in improving the texture of my skin, the hydration of my skin, and I'd love to share these all with you in case of any of you who are struggling with dry skin, especially if you live in a very dry climate, and for all of us who are experiencing uh, the fall and winter season. So these are all going to be amazing tips that are going to really hopefully change your life as they have mine, and really remedies that you should definitely be doing in your self-care routine for your body care as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like and comment down below so that I can be better connected with you all. I'm so, so grateful for all of you who are supporting my channel and all of us growing this channel. It's really amazing to me. Okay, let's get into the video now. <laughs> all right, so first is oil your body. And what I mean by this is oil your body with your favorite oil, such as olive oil, almond oil, a mixture of oils, whatever you like and whatever your body prefers, especially your skin. Use an oil before going into the shower or if you're lucky, into your bath. Because when you massage an oil into your skin, it gives your skin that barrier of protection from the you know, the water itself. And for most of us who don't have a filtration system yet, um, it's so imperative to moisturize and hydrate your skin beforehand. And what I like to do when I oil my body before I head into the shower or bath, I love to take my time and really massage it into my skin. And with that massaging, it really helps deepen the penetration of the oil into the skin and so that it can be better absorbed. And it is such a life changer and game changer when it comes to your body care and skin health in general. And like I said, if you live in a dry climate, like I do at the moment, it is so, so, so beneficial. And it's like amazing when you get out of the shower and you barely feel that kind of like parchment of parchment. Is that a word for skin? <laughs> uh, when you feel that parched feeling on your skin right after you get out of a shower or a bath. So it's so, so, so nice when you don't feel that really tight sensation all over your body. So my second remedy for dry skin that you absolutely need to be doing is double dry brushing. And I'm not too sure if I've ever heard anyone talk about double dry brushing or if it's just my creation of that word, but I love double dry brushing. And it has been seriously the best game skin changer ever for me. And what I mean by this is that I like to dry brush my skin before I hop into the shower or bath. And I really like to concentrate all over my body and you know, it's great for your lymphatic system and all that good stuff, but really take the time and massage your skin with the dry brush. I have this little dry brush um, that I bought from Amazon. And so I just love using this. I know this is tiny, but it gets the job done. Especially when you do this frequently, it really lessens the time as your skin progresses and progresses. So your skin is gonna be super flawless and soft like no other once you get this routine going. So first, get your skin scrubbed dry before you hop into the shower or bath. And then when you get inside the water, you'll want to cleanse with your favorite soap, bar soap or body wash cleanser, anything like that, and put it into the dry brush and massage it onto your skin. And wow, this is incredible. You will immediately feel the effects. Even if you don't do one of the steps or you know, vice versa or whatever that you like in particular for your body. Dry brushing is just an amazing thing, but when you double dry brush, it just takes it to a whole new level. So after you are done, you know, cleansing, you will definitely see the difference. And I used to have extreme dry skin, especially on my hands and on my body. And my skin is completely, completely different in such a beautiful, soft way. It's done a 180. Like, I'm just always looking at this hand because I had so many issues with this hand and having such terrible luck. And now I've changed my luck with this beautiful little tool that I recommend all of you have in your bathroom, in your shower. 
I highly, highly recommend this. <laughs> and last but not least, third is hand creams. Hand creams and foot creams. You know, I alternate between them. I don't really care if it says foot cream or hand cream. I use them for both. But in particular, I love to put hand cream on every minute of the day, especially if I go and wash my hands or if I feel that they're getting a little bit dry throughout the day. I have a hand cream by my side no matter what, in my purse, in my, um, my room, just all around me, I will have a hand cream. And my favorite hand cream that I use for the daytime is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Self. And this bad boy right here is really, really good for very, very dry skin. And it says all day care for severely dry active hands. And I can't recommend this enough. It definitely works. It has a really nice, like, fresh scent. It's kind of on the menthol-y scent, but it's so much better than that. It has some botanical scent with the actual menthol, menthol scent to it. However, if you are not opposed to menthol or some type of fresh, clean scent, I highly recommend you start using this because it is a game changer, like I've said a million times in this video. <laughs> but for the daytime, it really helps keep your hands really moisturized. And after, you know, washing your hands a couple times when you're cooking, when you just in general have to wash your hands this will last you on your skin as it says that our blend of select ingredients allows skin to actually draw and absorb water from the air forming a glove like protective barrier against moisture loss which is amazing if you always always wash your hands and if you're you know constantly dry so I highly highly recommend this for the daytime and for the nighttime I recommend this Laura Mercier body cream, actually it's a body butter, and I use this for my hands and my feet in particular. And I know it says body butter, but I find that anything with body in it as a butter, as a cream, is the best for my hands and for my feet in general. Like, I don't care. I just want to be well moisturized, especially living in a very dry climate. So this one in particular is my almond coconut milk body butter, and it is the Body and Bath collection. You can find this at Nordstrom, New and Marcus, all that good stuff as well as the Kiehl's one over here. <laughs> I just love using this one at night because of the scent. It just makes me have that ritualistic feel whenever I'm putting it on at night. So this one smells so, so nice. It's so, you know, scrumptious and calming to me because it always reminds me of bedtime and I really highly suggest you have a specific daytime and nighttime uh, cream for both your hands and your feet just so that you can alternate and feel that goodness between them. I personally like to condition my feet as well at nighttime because I don't really have sometimes the time or I'm a little bit lazy um, in the daytime to actually moisturize my feet. I also recommend you use a cuticle oil whenever you're not lazy at night or in the daytime, but I, like I said, I like to do a little bit more extra, um, extra moisturization at nighttime with um, some cuticle oils. Now this one is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's. It's an oil for your face, but you know, you can use this in so, so many ways from your face to your hands, to your cuticles. I've even heard people using it in their hair as well. So. I love this and this has a very nice lavender scent and it's great for nighttime especially since it's called Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And I also love this Jill Jordan French Cuticle Treatment which I've had for years and I probably should throw this out but I absolutely love this and I've had this, like I said, for years <laughs> and it's been absolutely amazing. It has all these natural ingredients. I'm not sure if this is actually sold anymore. And I love using these oils as well for my feet and making sure that the cuticles um, on my toenails are really nice and um, protected and moisturized. All right, so that is it. Three amazing tips that keep your skin on your body and your hands well hydrated and protected throughout the winter and fall seasons, especially if you live in a very dry climate. 
And yeah, I hope that you guys will all start doing this into your routines. If you have any other tips and tricks that you have, um, share them down below so that all of us can benefit from learning more and more. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I hope that you're having a beautiful and lovely day or night wherever you are on this planet. And I will see you very soon in my next video.